Pat, I love you so much. Well, you gonna hang my plants up ever? Like you yes, I, I'm I'm busy. R really? I'm kidding. R let's see. <laughs> <laughs> I already did a video of the three eighths and uh, the three eighths against the DeWalt mid range half inch. Uh, the versus video coming up because now I got the half inch. The three eighths one that I borrowed was Mr. Bates, and so he told me not to break his tool or I'm a dead man. And so now I have my own, and it's a half inch one, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna abuse the crap out of this. And like I said, a versus video between the DeWalt mid, mid range half inch impact wrench versus this coming up soon. But when it comes to this range of torque, there's only one thing that I do that could put this to the ultimate test. And that is the 1800 foot pound Milwaukee impact wrench, the one inch, All right? I do not have any other device that could actually create the torque that I need for this to test this out. All right, now I'm not gonna tighten them to the max because obviously 1800 foot pounds, but but yeah, uh, th th that's the best I can do, and that's why I got this. All right, so let's go over the specs of this really quick and test this out. All right, so this is a Bad Mama Jamma. It has three LED uh, lights on the front, half-inch friction ring anvil, and this is model number 2962-20, 18 volt system. This has four speed settings, uh, one, two, and three, and then uh, auto. 12 amp hour battery, it's gonna need it. And so this thing is awesome. All right, so this goes to, the length of this is six inches, 3.5 pounds, uh, 550 foot-pounds of uh, fastening torque and 650 foot-pounds of nut-busting torque. And so that's what we are gonna do. We are gonna bust some nuts today. All right, for the one-inch impact wrench, I am using Pittsburgh Pro impact rated one-inch sockets. These things are ho holding up pretty well. I, I'm not, I don't think I have the size for that, do I? 21, 27, no, nope, I do not. I do not, so I do have an adapter for that one. This one, 27. Yeah, that one should, no, that one's, nope, that one's too big. But this one, I think is 38. I got that one, excellent, so I'm gonna need that. I do have one inch to a half inch adapter. So there you go. All right, so let's uh, tighten these up. This is gonna be crazy, first let's, I, I'm also testing my welds right now because I want to see if these welds could actually withstand what I'm about to do. All right, so let's tighten these up. That's good. That's good. A little bit more on top. That should be good for those. Now use the one inch to a half inch. Hopefully this these will survive. Hopefully these sockets will survive this, especially the adapter. That should be good. That should be good. And then the 24 inch. That should be good. Now when it comes to these, I do not, I, I am sorry, but the tool you need to make sure that these are actually at a certain torque of uh, foot pounds, it's like a $1,500 to a $5,000 tool. And so, uh, yeah, I'll be getting that in the future. Uh, Shop Tool Reviews has it, so he's able to tighten these up very quickly and accurately to a certain foot pounds, whatever, he just changes the setting. So I give him major props for having that tool. All right, so let's do the 24 millimeter first. It is on speed three. Let's see if this can bust the nut. All right, ready? Go. Yes, it can. Let's bust this nut. 
Ready? Go. Up oh, wrong way. Yes, it can. This is a very powerful tool, you guys. It, it really is. It really is. Let's see if we can bust it. Those are small nuts, so let's see if we can bust this nut. Ready? Go. Yes, it can. Ooh, and I broke the weld. The weld on that one broke, so I'm gonna have to re-weld that. There we go. Let's see if this one goes. All right, ready? Go. Got it. So far, I only broke one weld. That's not bad. All right, as you can see, what I got in one inch sockets, uh, I just don't have this one size with, uh, I don't have this to where I could use on a half inch anvil uh, when it comes to impact rated sockets. So I know, please, please don't blow up my comments on that. I, I need to get, uh, I need to get a half inch to a one inch adapter and I'm trying to find one, trying to find one. There we go. Okay, let's see if this could bust the nut. All right, ready? Go. Yes, it can. The weld held, held up too. All right, ready? Go. Oh, wrong way. Ready? Go. Yes, it can. This, this is a powerful tool, you guys. It is really hard to do a test on this to where it will, where it won't take the nut out. Now, yes, I could use the one inch impact wrench and completely tighten this all the way to its max, and this won't be able to take it out. So uh, the tool that, like I said, the tool that you need to like tighten this up to 700 foot pounds, uh, it's like it's like a three thousand dollar tool. Uh, for that, that's just for a decent one. The the air uh ones are like 12 to 1500 but the battery ones are like three to five thousand dollars so that will be coming to the channel in the future but not right now and so yeah this is a very powerful tool it is really hard to get a tool like this to fail when it has 650 foot pounds of torque that's that that's insane Alrighty, so we are going to do a 4-inch lag, a 6-inch lag, and an 8-inch by 5-8-inch lag. Now, this is going to be a nut buster right here. This gonna, that motor is going to majorly work to drive this in. So, so yeah, let's do the 4-inch first. Uh, battery is still full. We got on speed 3. Right here is good. Uh, I will say with the 12 amp hour battery, it is, uh, it is awkward to hold because the, the, it has major uh, down weight on the back. So that 12 amp hour battery had, does have consequences. Ready? Go. Time. It is a beast though. This is a little beast. Uh, let's take it out. Ready? Go. Gotta love those tri LED beams just to work, uh, light up your work area. All right, let's do the six inch lag right here. All right, so ready, go. Time, time, time. Testing, one, two, testing. Oh, it's not done yet, snap. Did it stop? All right, let's continue. There's time. All right, so let's take it out. Ready, go. Time. 
All right then, for the last test, we are gonna do the 5 8 inch lag. Let's see how long it takes and the type of effort it does to do that. And the tool is still cold because it is severely cold in here. Well, I'll do a temperature reading for you guys really quick. Tool is still very cold, 56 degrees. Yeah, tool still cold, 52, because it is not warm in here by any means. And so the 5 8 8 inch by 5 8 we'll do it right here. All right, so ready, go. Time. Let's do an instant temperature reading. Let's see how much that went up, 56, 57. Yeah, it went up one degree because this uh, most of the motor was at 56. There was a spot at uh, uh, 52. It went up one de one degree. Up oh, now it says 60, 61, 61 degrees. Still cold. Let's take it out. Ready? Go. Time. All right, the reason why I add lags to impact drivers and impact wrenches is because people use these to drive these in all the time. People don't use drills to drive these in, they use impact wrenches and impact drivers. And there are a lot of people out there that actually drive these in all day. So that's why I add these to the videos because this is also a major useful tool for these type of for these type of lags it is there you see the results for this tool now the 12 amp hour battery might have majorly helped it it might not have performed that well with a lower amp hour battery but when it comes to milwaukee their impact wrenches are freaking phenomenal do i highly recommend this to you guys yes if you need a high uh, mid-range impact that has a lot of power this is it and so we will be doing a versus video between this and the DeWalt uh, in the near future. I got tons of videos coming out, you guys. And once again, this is model number 28, sorry, 2962-20. Uh, the half, I, I do not like 3 8 inch impact wrenches. I love half inch. I always end up using half inch sockets. So I love the half inch impact wrenches. I'm not a fan of 3 8 because I always end up using a socket adapter to use a half inch socket. So that's pretty much it you guys i got plenty of videos coming up there are a lot of videos already out there i'm at like almost 480 videos they're all below and so yeah so if you found this video helpful and entertaining please like this video please hit the bell button to be notified of future videos and please subscribe to the channel this is dave nicholas thank you for tuning in i'll see you guys next time